Hi, this is Michelle Temino, wood carver from Saskatchewan, Canada. Today I'm sharing a power wood carving tutorial on how to make a cute peekaboo raccoon stump. Start with a cut log stump, secured in a jaw horse or a vice workbench. You'll start by sketching an outline of the hole into the stump and a rough shape of the raccoon faces inside that hole. Use a chainsaw with a small tip carving bar to outline along your sketched lines with shallow cuts. You want to remove any excess material in the negative space around the raccoons. Angle cut with the chainsaw to shape the raccoon faces to give them some depth. The ears and eye sockets will also be cut deeper inwards to appear further away from you. Avoid cutting the tips of the nose and the snout because we want those to stay further forward. and remove any bark from the outside of the stump. Next, take an angle grinder with a flap disc to sand the surface of the stump, the top, the bottom, and the sides, everywhere except for where the raccoons are. Make sure you're wearing gloves, ear protection, eye protection, and a dust mask or a respirator. You can find details about my gear in the description of this video. Then you'll take the ArborTech mini carver to further smooth out the space around the raccoons and start refining the shape of the raccoons. Push the eye sockets inwards and define the edge of the snout and the bridge of the nose. Add some line texture around the edge of the hole in the stump to make it look like it's aged wood. Redraw the outlines often to stay on track and keep proportions. Carve a bit then redraw when you can no longer see your sketch lines. Next, use a precision ball cutter to reach into the crevices and round out eye sockets, ear canals, and smooth surfaces. A die grinder with a flame-shaped burr bit with a pointed tip will continue to refine the outlines and details of the raccoon faces, while the fine grit body of the burr further smooths and shapes the surface areas. Think of it as drawing with a really big pen. Keep drawing and carving over the raccoons to progressively bring out the shape that you want. I recommend focusing on carving the outline shape first and then moving into shaping and curving the edges. This burr bit also sands down negative space around the raccoons. Then you can use the pointed tip to refine face details, such as the nose, the snout, eye sockets, and ears, and smooth out the cheeks and forehead.
For eyes, these eye cutter bits work great. Choose the size that matches the raccoon's proportions, and check reference photos, and pre-draw your placement before carving the eyes. These eye cutter bits fit a die grinder or a rotary tool. Simply press onto the marked eye pl placement and then let it burn into the wood for a few moments. It creates a perfectly rounded, convex eye shape. These raccoons are different sizes, so I use different sized eye cutters. Fur texture is next. A triangle cutter bit on a rotary tool works great for this. The face fur texture is done with a really light touch. The fur texture doesn't need to be very deep, as the fur is naturally shorter around the face. I start with a V-shape fur pattern running up the snout and forehead, and then gradually work outwards to the sides. The fur texture follows the curve of the eyebrows as well. Checking reference pictures will help guide for direction on what looks normal. A rotary tool with a small pointed bit will help tidy up small details around the eyes, nose, and ears. A fine stone bit for the rotary tool will smooth out small details around the eyes, nose, and ears as well. Take a map gas torch to char the carved area. This burns off any leftover wood fuzzies, closes the wood grain, provides contrast and depth, and gives the wood aged character. It will look too dark to start with, but it will be sanded and painted later. Next, you're going to want to sand the charred surface with a mop sander and a drill. Take care of any potential bugs in the wood. Fumigate the stump with insecticide sprayed into a garbage bag or under a tarp and let sit overnight. Then tidy up your work area and get ready to paint. For paint, I use outdoor oil-based rust paints in black and white colors, and then custom mix a gray color. Hand brush with small paint brushes onto the wood. And once the paint is dry, we'll be mixing the sealer. 
I like to use marine spa urethane mixed half and half with mineral spirits. This is brushed on and applied with three coats, letting it dry one day in between coats. You may want to let the final coat dry for an extra few days just to make sure that it's been cured. Then the peekaboo raccoon carving is done. A nice finishing touch is adding your name with an, an engraved nameplate onto the carving. And don't forget to take pictures and video to capture your project and be proud of all your hard work. If you're wondering about any of the tools and gear I used in this video, check out the description. I invite you to just subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos as they come out. Thank you so much for watching and wishing you all the best in your carving project.